tonight, instead of calling for takeout, I am making Chinese takeout turnovers using Pillsbury Crescent Round as my wrapper. So I'm gonna make a really delicious Asian-inspired filling that just starts with a little bit of vegetable oil heating up over a hot pan, and then in goes one whole tablespoon of minced ginger and then two cloves of minced garlic. In my opinion, all good things start with sauteed ginger and garlic. As soon as it hits the oil, it just smells so good in here already. And then once this gets a little browning, or if it's starting to go too quickly, a great way to stop and slow down the cooking is to add our ground chicken. I am using half a pound of ground chicken today. And this is the ground meat I don't feel like people are using enough of. It's a really lean chicken, cooks really quickly, and it's just a nice departure from turkey. It doesn't have that same flavor. I think it's a little bit more mild than ground turkey. All right, I just crumble this along the way, and then once it's looking cooked, in go our rainbow of vegetables today. I am using one small carrot that I've peeled and diced really finely, half of a red bell pepper, also diced pretty teensy tiny, and then I have half a cup of green onions. I'm just gonna use half of this and then save these. And then I also have half a cup of water chestnuts that I have also diced up. So this will just cook a little bit longer so we can get our vegetables to soften. And then let's get some more flavor in here. So plenty of cracked black pepper. And then I also have already measured out a third cup of hoisin sauce. This is an ingredient I always have in my refrigerator. I love it. Some people call it like an Asian barbecue sauce. It's very sweet, nicely seasoned. And then this will just hold our filling together and add the perfect amount of saltiness and sweetness. It's all about balance in this dish. The last thing that goes in is just a teaspoon of sesame oil that adds just really great flavor, toastiness. So let's just go ahead and get our dough ready. So basically, instead of crescent dough cut into triangles, this is cut into nice long strips. All right. I am going to brush this with a little bit of sesame oil, just about a teaspoon, and then sprinkle on the rest of those green onions that I saved back. So what we're doing is kind of tucking in those green onions and incorporating them into the dough as best as possible. So you really want to incorporate the flavor of those green onions into the dough, but it's really hard to roll them into dough and get them to stay or stick so this kind of does it for you. They're nice and embedded. And then look, you've got your green onions speckled throughout. Okay, a little bit of filling. And you can mound this up right in the center. And then a tiny bit of egg wash to seal. Just on one side. And then you can fold these up however you like. And then you can try to crimp them in any way little crimp and pinch. Okay, I'm just finishing up my last little guy here. And I'll just go ahead and get a little bit of egg wash on these. Last thing we need is a sprinkling of sesame seeds. And then into the oven we go. So just keep an eye on these, and when they look like this, they are ready. Perfectly tanned, light toast on the sesame seeds and we are good to go. And this is just another great variation on how you can fill and fold crescent dough, my Chinese takeout turnovers using Pillsbury Crescent Rounds.